Hello everyone. In today's session we are going to discuss CSS layers. Until now we have never bothered about layers because HTML elements will never overlap until we specify some positioning to them. So in the previous session we have seen how we can specify position. Three different kinds of position were there where we specify position it will overlap. So we need to know how these layers will work if there are overlapping elements. Before starting some uh, theory we can go with some problems what happens when the overlapping will happen. Let's see if we create one HTML element I am creating one uh, division specifying it with some class for example div1 and I am creating another div with a class of div2 and I am specifying a style to these divs dot div1 I am specifying width to be 200 pixel height again to be 200 pixels background color to be red same way I am specifying for div2 but in this case I am specifying width as 100 and height as 100 and color to be blue for example we have created two divisions like this when I refresh the page something like this would have happened so our first div with 200 pixel by 200 pixel red background and another div with 100 by 100 pixel and blue background it will never overlap until we specify positioning to them for example I am specifying position to be absolute I am specifying top to be 100 pixel and left again to be 100 pixel same way I am specifying positioning to our division 2 in that particular case what I am specifying over here is I want that top to be 150 and left to be 150 when I refresh the page you will see there is overlapping of an elements our first element and overlap by another element this is okay why because the first element is bigger than the second element but let's see if I create height width of 100 pixel for div1 and position them to be 150 pixel top left and 200 for the second div and 100 100 for the left and top when I refresh the page as you can see our red division is not displayed why because it was overlapped by the blue element and our red is hidden behind this particular element so when we specify positioning there are some issues which element will be displayed and sometimes sometimes you need to specify that I want red to be in the top for that we need to have CSS layer so CSS allows you to control which item will appear on the top use using the layers in CSS each element is given a priority and if there are uh, two overlapping CSS positioned element the element with the highest priority will be displayed on the top and that particular priority we can specify using Z dash index property for example same we have div1 and div2 and we are specifying some values to that so there is one property named Z dash index the property with the highest value of Z dash index like this particular element is having higher uh, 5 and it is 2 so this particular div will be displayed on the top let's see we can specify the same example in our existing example for example I specify Z dash index of our div 1 which is currently hidden behind the div 2 to be 5 and same Z dash index of div 2 to be 4 which means this is higher and this is lower so when I refresh the page again 
you can see you can now see the red element on the top of the blue because the z index is higher than this okay even if we can if we, even if we do not specify the z index let's see what will happen as we know red will be hidden behind the blue but if here in html itself if i am writing div 1 after div 2 let's see what will happen now you can see without specifying the z index you can see division 1 if it is written after div 2 so the default priority would be the from the html whoever comes the last will be at the top but when we want to override this particular property of a default html we need to specify z index because sometimes you cannot change the html code you cannot reorder this particular html code you have to use some css property for that and z index is the property which specifies uh, the priority of that particular element and we can see the red at the top okay thank you